but it's got nothing to do with sustainability. None of this has got nothing to do with sustainability. Uh, you've got on one side a company that did really well and they managed to breed an animal in captivity, um, which is um, happened to be one of the most popular um, species in the world. Uh, and they've been very successful at it to, to market that. And at the same time, there was a ban in, in Hawaii. If you watch the, um, the whole saga, and, and we watch it very closely, uh, it's still going on. Um, the EIS, the, so the Environmental Impact Study uh, on Hawaii, on the Big Island, um, where, where the yellow tang is collected, uh, was 2,000 page long. And it proved categorically that this is the this is the most well studied fishery in the world on mm. ornamentals category that for the last 30 years the collecting of wild tanks uh, of, of, of wild you know yellow tanks to the best of our ability we haven't even scratched the surface on its population and and to go from that and that and this is work that's been peer reviewed by over 30 PhDs across the world I mean it's it's not it's not something I'm saying because I'm mm. you know I'm I'm obviously a, an interested uh, party that it goes it, it reopens um but but it's it's it, these are scientists who you know who, who looked at it black and white and said look uh we see this as sustainable it was closed due to emotion and that emotion is driven by people who are listening to blogs who are listening to youtubers who are listening to newspapers who are listening to because they make a decision based on something they don't understand and they see okay all these fish have been taken from the wild this is wrong we should vote against it so politicians will just decide yep it needs to be uh, closed down they don't really know why they're closing down i mean you saw if you saw the i saw the hearing where uh, there was six um uh, people voting for it um uh, from different locations different councils and they voted against it but and the, their reasons was look everyone's so angry about this we just a, a bit we need to get we need this to get to go away um not so much because there was a sustainability issue there wasn't uh, there isn't i mean achilles tank is a good i was um in hawaii recently um talking to tony nahaki so he's a you know he's a very um well-known guy in, in the fisheries world uh described a lot of species and he was saying to me i mean achilles tank the people who were collecting live achilles tank before are not allowed to collect live achilles for the aquarium industry now but they collect more than double on spear fishing for food fisheries mm. so you go out to the same places and you see these people with spears and you know 20 30 achilles tanks because they get less money for it um because that's one of the things with ornamental fisheries is that you can pay a lot of money for a small amount of volume so, you know, the fishermen are better rewarded for their efforts if they collect the fish alive. We then see the fish alive on our side and we have, you know, various benefits like education, you know, um, um, uh, in the, the enjoyment of caring for another, another, another species, which is what reef keeping is all about. But these people are now seeing, okay, we can't do it. I still have to earn my money. So how do I do that? Okay, well, you, you can still collect it, but you need to kill them and sell them to the... You're not getting the, as much money, so market. you need to get more, yeah. So, so, it's, it's how do you, so it's not sustainable. The whole practice just completely destroyed the sustainability of, uh, of it, which, which makes it, you know, I'm very passionate about it because it, it really um, um, annoys me. And, and not so much because of the financial implication of it, because, I mean... At the end of the day, if people don't buy yellow tanks, they'll buy purple tanks, or they'll buy other things. So, so it's it's not what it it gets replaced, but it's about the it's it's just wrong. It's not the the right fundamentals weren't there in the first place, because if someone had proved that that fish is not sustainable in the trade, I would be the first one to to block it with on a blacklist within TMC. Yeah. 